All right, guys, welcome back to Sydney UK. We're uh, having another go at the B-52 bomber mission, and uh, this is probably my fourth or fifth attempt. This is hopefully going to be the last one where my in-game microphone is uh, missing, but uh, I'll try and remember as best I can and uh, sort of give you some insight on this overview cinematic footage. So you can see to the left we've got two fighters, and we've also got a B-52 bomber slightly further over to the right, that's our wingman and at this moment in time I'm trying to get a decent lock on any of them and deciding what strategy I'm going to take moving forwards. The B-52 bomber is obviously the priority so I've broken, le I've broken right and uh, unleashed my first missile at the enemy. Now I'm still working on understanding my missiles I don't know which one is which at this moment in time, but um, this is practice, essentially. So I've broken off from the bomber, I've sent in one missile, hopefully it will connect, maybe it won't. But I need to take out these fighters, and there's the first one. I've dropped lock on fighter one, and I've gained lock on fighter two. There goes missile two. Missile two. Or missile one, perhaps. Looking like a, a direct hit there, and that's one down. It looks like one of our missiles is off on its own little trajectory there. Probably going to end up in the snow, hopefully not damaging anybody's uh, property. So we need to go take out this B-52 and uh, we're going to have to go full throttle to catch up with him. We've got to make sure we get there before he drops his bombs. Wingman 2 is engaging the second bandit. I've just asked him to watch my 6. Now I can't tell at this moment in time whether or not that is a friendly or a foe. But uh, certainly uh, whoever it is, they are hanging on my wing. So the reason why there's no sound in these bits, I've decided, is because we're travelling faster than the speed of sound, therefore it's effectively silent. I assume that's what it is, but uh, it does seem there's quite a few quirky little issues and bugs with the uh, replay system in DCS, and I remember now why I initially stopped playing DCS, it was for this very reason. So I'm assuming that's Fox 1, which means I have to maintain radar. Uh, guidance in order to ensure that the missile is going on the correct trajectory. That may not even be the correct missile. Yeah, pretty sure that's the wrong missile I'm looking at there. We're going super low here, trying to break his radar lock on me. You can see him just spinning around in the background there. Wingman's calling out that he's on my six. You just see him slightly in the camera there. There he is. No idea what my wingman's doing. This is definitely a one-on-one -on -one battle right now.
I'm effectively trying to outroll him so that I can come in on his six or catch him from above. Shutting the engine down allows me to turn a little bit quicker here. Again, not quite fast enough. Got a close quarters radar up. All we need to do is get him squarely in front and above the nose and we should be able to get a shot of him. At the moment, he's definitely got the advantage. Tight set of turns right now. There goes the missile. Direct hit. Just managed to pull round on that angle, and um, that's what practice does for you. Is it enables you to get a lock on, take a shot in a real short space of time, and 99% uh, of the time, that's probably what's going to decide whether or not you are going to be uh, victorious or defeated in battle. So this kind of practice is really good for me. Um, I feel like I've definitely evolved as a fighter far quicker doing this than I ever would have done just by doing the campaigns, which I'm going to start again soon. Um, but uh, I also learned something else. There's more than one way to be victorious in a fight. Now, uh, that was a fantastic fight. I really enjoyed it. Lots of tight turns, lots of difficult maneuvers. You can see I'm firing off a missile here the next lot of attackers that are coming in but at the end of the day it's a pointless shot because a we're so far away and b there is another way of defeating your enemy and it doesn't involve firing at them at all if you are not capable of managing your fuel then like me you won't have any for the remainder of the battle and that's exactly, unfortunately, what happened here. You can see the fight's going on without me. My teammate's still involved, but um, we are sans petroleum, which means the engines have shut down and um, there is nothing I can do. There is no secret couple of gallons in the uh, back pocket scenario for this aircraft. So uh, yeah, not only do you have to fight hard and fight smart, you have to manage your resources, that includes the missiles that you have and the fuel that you have available. And uh, I failed to do that. I have learned that lesson in this mission. And uh, again, I feel like I have evolved. <laughs> but uh, obviously not quick enough as I slowly trundled my way into what I believe was a missile there. I didn't see it coming. But um, we survived nonetheless. And I have now got my flight sim on hardcore simulation mode. So uh, join me for the next one. Take care. Goodbye.